Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is set up z1trial.com as my domain name for the whole business where I'm going to be Paul at z1trial.com and I'm going to have sales at, Paul, at z1trial.com and I'm going to have a, a fictional sales uh, sales lady. Is it sales lady or saleswoman? Sarah Sales is going to be who I always use as a demo, Sarah Sales at z1trial.com. So I'm going to use mail. If you're not going to use mail, with with Zoho Mail, you can skip this section. You can jump into uh, the next section. Uh, it doesn't affect you, but I'm going to show you how to set up a domain name and uh, use that for for your uh, mail. It is, I will tell you, not a straightforward process. It can be a bit of a ball ache to do. So you have to bear with me. I will try and show you the best way how I'm going to use it. If you get any problems, <clears throat> sorry. I always lose my voice when I get nervous. Um, if you get any problems setting up your, your domain name, send me a message. You're in the Facebook group. Let's talk about it. We'll we'll put some knowledge based stuff in the um, in the forum because you've all got different domain hosting. You've all got different places. You've registered your domain, right? I'm using Cloudflare, um, but there's other ways places to do it. But don't get stuck. Just ask the question, right? You will because a lot of you will get stuck. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, add applications and I'm going to add mail, right? And the domain name is z1trial.com. Add, and it's going to say you need to set up Zoho Mail. Now, I, I don't think the, let me go through it and I'll show you what I mean. When, oh man. Right, first of all, I'm going to have to pause you because it's asking for a mobile phone number. For, for Zoho Mail, you need to, to double check your, um, you need to double verify your login, which means that you have to put your mobile phone number in and it'll send you a code. Now, obviously, I've only got one mobile phone number, but I've actually got a, a, a fully functioning Zoho One account myself that I use every day. So I have to actually send this to my dad's um mobile phone and then get the code off him so i'm just going to pause you but when they jump back in you will be past this section so all you need to do though is put your phone number in enter your password you've just signed up as and it'll text you a code all right okay so this is what you should now have you've confirmed your phone mobile phone number that's just because you're admin it gives you a double double security in case someone tries to log into your admin uh so it comes to this point and it will say um you need to set up your dns settings in your domain to get it working right so we're going to verify don't put verify domain later you might as well do it when you do it what i've noticed when i do it this way it sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't but let's just go through what they're saying to see so what you need to do is verify that you own this domain right so you go to wherever you're hosting your domain for me it's cloudflare so i'm going to log into my cloudflare uh, it's probably going to log into the wrong one. Let me just log out. I find it easier using um, Cloudflare for DNS settings than I do for... I register my domains with GoDaddy. I just find Cloudflare um, is a happier domain. Right, so this is what I've got. Basically, I've just registered it. I haven't got any information in there. So I'm going to have to do... It's saying for a text method either leave blank or add at or write in the uh, domain and then i'm going to copy this right so what i'm going to do is add a text so you need to find your dns settings within your hosting and add a text field you put at that is the root domain that's ztrial.com i can type in ztrial.com uh, as well but for this i'm just going to leave it as at i'm going to paste in that code and i'm going to leave it uh, as automatic I may I may put it as two minutes just so it picks up quicker and add record right so if I verify that in a couple of minutes time it should come through you can also add a C name sometimes it's worth adding a C name just to double it up the verification as to which one goes first so C name add that as the host and add this as the destination right again I'm going to turn this off, make it two minutes. So within two minutes, it should pick it up. And because mine's a newish domain, I would hope it would come through. So let's try. 
and it works straight away, which is great for this video, but you might find at that point you have problems. Sometimes it's easier to go back to uh, domains on your admin and verify it here and do verify. It's sometimes, I don't know why sometimes it's easier, but anyway, it worked for me. So adding that text field worked. Okay, so next step is we need to uh, add users, uh, proceed to text verification. I've just done that, right? Verify now. Oh, right, so I didn't click verify now. Uh, I didn't read what it said, does it? So I've just verified it through this section when I should have done it through there. So have I just fallen out of it? Oh, let me do the C name one, see if it's happy if I do that. Verify now. Domain's already verified. Oh, I jump forward then. All right, so I'm going to click up here to jump past. Uh, do, do, do. DNS settings. Okay, proceed. We know that. So this is what I mean, this wizard's not great, but I did do it out of sequence. But you're going to verify it. Let me refresh my page and see if it... Yeah, that gives me a tick, right? So we're on to add users. So I'm going to put a user as Paul at... Uh, by default, user first and sets up domain becomes the super... But by the default, the user signs up first and it sets up the domain becomes the super admin. The super admin role, right. So this is a super admin. This is me, Paul at Z, Z1trial.com. I'm going to create that account, right? You have now verified your domain. You now proceed to add users. That's what we've just done. Okay. First name of your users. So this is where you would add your next person. I've just literally done that though, haven't I? Uh, it, it changed from the last time back to setup. So I set me up as a user. So I've not gone in any further than that because I'm already in, right? Uh, proceed to add users. I don't want to. All right, well, it wants us to add a user, doesn't it? So we might as well add one. So I've, I have a... Um, as I say, a generic. Uh, I have a generic demo account user as Sarah Sales, so I can say this is a salesman. This is a, this is the account. So I'm going to put in Sarah Sales, right? So it might be. It depends what your policy is in your business, as to what you're um, going to add the email as. You know, if it's Sarah dot last name or it's first letter at first name. However you do it, you know how to set up your emails. I'm just going to use Sarah, right? And I'll give her a password. I'm actually going to give a password that I'm going to let people further down the line log in and use. So when I do webinars, I'm going to let you. Um, I'm going to let you log in. So there we go. We've got mine and we've got Sarah, right? So we've got two users set up. You didn't need to set the second one up. Uh, I'm going to go back to setup. It should have jumped me past users, right? Create group groups. So if you've got a group of people like HR or sales or anything you need to do, you can create groups. You can do it later, and I'm going to do it later uh, just because I'm not sure how many people will do it. Configuring email delivery. We need to set up MX records within our DNS now. So what we have to do to say to to say to email that comes through that domain where to route it, we're going to go to uh, these settings, right? So I have to copy these into my DNS. So I go back to there and click MX record. And I'm going to paste in that host, uh, mail server 10, right? Save. In fact, I needed to make the host um, at. So this is the host in Cloudflare. Yours will say host above it. Here's it pointing there and add record, right? Now I'm going to do it again, but the next one is mx2, zoro.com, and 20 priority. Save, add, do it again, mx3, priority 30. So it goes to one first, then the second, then the third. I don't know the full theory, but it obviously is telling me to do that. So here is my mx records. 
10, 20, 30 didn't save, did it? So let's do 30 again at MX3, 30, save, add, and there it is now, right? So take your time with it, don't rush like I am. But you're basically copying this, MX2, MX3, the two is 20 priority, the three, and the root is uh, done. Check your domain provider. So this is just telling you how to do it. MX lookup, MX records, record found for the domain. So it hasn't yet gone through, but I've set that up. It's gonna take two or three minutes for it to take. I'm just gonna to go to next. I now need to set up the SPF DKIM. Uh, so it allows emails through. So again, this is a text record, the SPF, that I go and add a text file to the root domain, paste in what I've just copied and save, add, add that. And then I need to this DKM proceed. In addition to SPF record, you can add DKM signature to ensure better email deliverability. So you go to proceed to DKIM, you go here, there's a video here you can watch, but basically what you do is you go to edit the record, you add a selector and just put Zoho in front of it. Save. Now, you want to get this subdomain here. So before the dot .yourdomain.com, I'm gonna take Zoho underscore um, domain key, right? And I'm gonna paste it in here as a text file, but I need to delete the dot z1trial.com so you just want zoho dot underscore domain key or whatever you've just typed in and then i'm going to copy this paste that in and save right did it take that uh, tx tx z1 trial uh, uh, add record there it goes so that's those two added, right? You can try to verify it. And it didn't say anything there, did it? We didn't say it didn't. Usually it pops up and tells you, but let's go back to setup because we've done that. Don't worry about it, you don't do this in order, you can go through it. Uh, migrating emails, I'll put a separate video for that. If you're gonna import your video emails from Gmail, or you're gonna do stuff like that, then we need to talk about that separately. So we're not gonna do that in this video. And then mobile access, how to set up your mail on a mobile. You obviously can add the apps and then log in, or I'm gonna show you the IMAP settings in a minute. Uh, great, your basics is complete. You wanna communicate, collaborate, produce your own email suite. Your users can now send and receive emails. That's one trial for details, right, add to Zoho one. So we're now in, if I go to applications, where's mail? My apps, okay, <laughs> didn't, didn't arrive, did it? But if I go to zoho.mail.com, I should have a login Come on. Oh, I've closed Cloudflare there, haven't I? Well, this should, that should be automatically on now. Hmm. So as I say, it's funky Zoho Mail. It, it always is. So if you've got issues, don't worry. If this hasn't made sense, don't worry come and join me in the forum, come and talk to me, and we'll get you through it. Um, as you can see that I've done everything, it said it was fine, now it's jumped out. So what I'm gonna do is go to my admin panel, go to organization, go to domains, and it hasn't got mail hosting on. I'm just gonna turn that on. Domain already exists, I know it already exists. Um, applications, hmm. So it's annoying, right? So it, it's always funky. Choose an existing account. Yes, associate. Uh, manage. 
So now it's there. So you shouldn't have had to do that. And, I, you know, hopefully you won't have had to do that section. But now I've got Zoe Mail. I'll have to have a look what I clicked on there. Well, I just, what I did again there was add the Zoe Mail to the, to the um, organization. And then it said associate this one that's already connected. It should have already done that for you. But if it doesn't, just click on it again like I did. So now I've got the um, mail sorted. I should be able to open Zoho Mail. And now I've got a login to my Zoho Mail. Okay. I just want to go back to uh, settings and just see what it says on the domain. Your domain MX records are not set, right? So when you go to domains, you're going to have these these settings here that are not verified um, the DKM the SPF isn't showing yet and the MX records eventually they will show up they may take an hour they may take two but they should show up right so we're going to pause it. it it also may work at this point without you having to do anything but it's a slow setup it's the biggest pain of the whole Zoho one process but if I go into Zoho mail now and just skip setup and see if I send a mail, if I send an email to Paul Nicholson, test, hello, I always try and put a time because I have to make more than, if I send too many tests, test 21.17 and send that. Let's wait to see if it beeps. There's a buzz on my phone. And here you go. Test hello 2117 from paul at z1trial.com. Right. Then I'm going to reply. Hello. All good. And let's see if the incoming mail's working. There you go. So there is the first email set up. We'll talk in more in depth. We'll talk about um, adding it to your phone or adding it to your computer in the next and uh, we'll move forward. So it's always scattered that part and it's always awkward verifying domains, setting up the MX records and getting it to work. So it, if you get any problems, as I say, just write a comment, let me know where you're struggling and we'll get you through it, okay?